Okay, so here I am once again trying to make a meme roundup video for a pre-puff part that I felt didn't quite deliver. It had absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing worth memeing about. And I am, for one, disappointed, disillusioned, I don't know, I'm just sad. In fact, after finishing this part, I was so distraught that I found myself reaching for a tissue to wipe my tears away. Probably, it was because we didn't get any fun Hartmut moments. Where are my Hartmut moments? I need to see more of him being disturbingly devoted to Rosamine. I had great hopes that this part would deliver, but I don't know, there were just no scenes of him being a crazy zealot singing the virtues of the Saint of Aramfest, and I for one did not detect any particular signs of him or Clarissa wholeheartedly wanting to follow her to the sovereignty. I just wish that Kazuki Sensei would throw us Hartmut fans a bone now and then, because when done right, his interactions with Rosamine always result in the community making such excellent memes. And truly, this week's meme pickings were paltry AF. Now, I am also growing really impatient because I think that after almost 30 volumes, we haven't gotten any romance in these books. Come on, Kazuki Sensei. Are you that heartless? When will love blossom in our book Gremlin's heart? Now, this might just be me, but I think this would be a perfect time for Rosamine to realize that there is a special someone in her life whom she can't leave behind. Finally, I absolutely hate, nay, loathe, how Kazuki Sensei treats female characters, particularly those that are Rosamine's maternal figures. That's why I am 100% convinced that Aoife is hands down the best mom in this series. Noble mothers cannot compare because they are the absolute worst. First we have Arlie, who is totally indifferent about her son leaving. I kind of feel that she's the one that is pushing him away. Poor Hartmut, he is being driven from home and that is why he's gonna end up following Ross to the sovereignty. Then, there's Florencia, whom I have already talked about in the previous meme roundup. She doesn't count as a mother to Rosamine, as she willfully turned a blind eye to her adopted daughter's woeful lack of lady education, and she just let her be educated by, you know, whoever or whatever, you know? That's disappointing. And Elvira? Oh man, do not get me started with Elvira. You know, before this pre-pub, I admired Elvira. I admired her character. She was, I thought, a well-crafted and well-written character. And obviously, she has impeccable taste. But, you know, I expected more. I expected way more from her. The chapter Mother and Daughter is where we get a glimpse of her without her usual noble mask, as she and Rosamine have a private talk. And, you know, it was truly disturbing for me, as among other things, she presents excuses as to why she never took on an active role in Rosamine's life. There were two instances where her neglect was particularly bad. The first was when Rosamine moved into her house and was baptized. She knew the girl was a commoner and that she was struggling to keep up and, you know, trying to not fall apart after being torn from her family. Rosamine was trying her hardest, but she let Ferdinand take on the role of being her pillar of emotional support. What kind of mother does that? Then, when Ferdinand left for Aaron's back, she didn't even try to fill that gap in Rosamine's life. She tried to excuse herself saying something about having to do stuff about a purge, and I don't know what, but I'm not buying it. I expected better from Lady Elvira. I expected her to be the one person to offer Rosamine the support she needed, and that she would work hard so Rosamine could leave Aaronfest without any worries or regrets. I expected her to be the one person to recognize and thank Rosamine for her contributions when everyone else only said that Rosamine was an agent of chaos. I don't know, I expected her to at least thank Rosamine for having negotiated with the royals to spare Ferdinand's life, which in turn would mean sparing Eckhart's life. 
And I expected her to empower her adopted daughter and give her the confidence she needed to face her future and also ask for the things that she needs for her future life. Man, by the end of this week's prepub, I was very, very discomforted. I'm starting to think that Kazuki Sensei is losing her touch. And if this keeps up, I might end up giving up this series entirely. In fact, why not? Just save yourself the trouble and disappointment. Don't run to read this series and unsubscribe from my channel right now because I quit. Okay, just kidding. Subscribe, you punks. A third of you watch the entirety of these videos and yet aren't subscribed. Why? No, I mean it, really. Why? This Supreme Empress wants to know. See you all next week. Or not. I don't know.